Hello fellow crafters, this is Landvater back on the crafting table for another tutorial. So to be fairly honest, uh, this tutorial was really inspired by another crafter, another YouTube crafter, uh, called uh, The Crafting Muse. So uh, if you haven't uh, checked her stuff already, uh, go check it and subscribe. She's doing amazing thing and I think she'll continue to do so. So what we're going to work on is uh, thatched roofs. Uh, so I'm going to be inspired by her technique. I just found a way to uh, enhance the technique, make it a lot easier, a lot faster. What we're going to do is we're going to use uh, these uh, walls I've, I've done previously as a base. And I'm going to do a roof that's going to be set on top that could be uh, lifted uh, off uh, to play uh, inside. Uh, but yeah, going to do a roof to go there. You're going to see it's a very easy craft. So let's crack on. Okay, we're going to start by uh, drawing and cutting triangles. These are going to help us uh, build the structure holding the roof on top of the wall. So uh, there you go. As you can see, I'm using a compass uh, to go faster. So um, for the width of the triangles, you have to choose the width of your base. You can choose the height of the triangle. Uh, just uh, the higher you get, uh, the steepest uh, the slope of the roof is going to be. So as you can see, I'm cutting all of them. So if you've got thicker uh, cardboard, you won't have to do this, but I'm basically gluing uh, two pieces together to have, uh, to have it reinforced because the cardboard was a little thin, so uh, I want something sturdier. So I glue them together. But you could do uh, just one piece if you got thicker cardboard. So now I'm gonna take another uh, cardboard piece and we're gonna do the structure of the, the roof uh, itself. So as you can see, I'm scoring the mill, but not all the way through. I'm just uh, very lightly scoring uh, the cardboard. This is gonna give the proper flex uh, to make uh, to make the roof and the slopes of the roof. There you go. Only thing left to do uh, is to put uh, to glue on the little triangles we made for support and there you go you've got the structure of your roof right there very easy as you can see it can sit pretty well on uh, on the base so we're gonna be using hemp string for this so what Vanessa did was that she glued uh, each piece of twine individually on a small cardboard it gave an amazing uh, effect but it must have took a lot of time to do it so what I'm gonna try to do is to improve the, the technique and uh, get a faster uh, production. As you can see, I'm taking a larger strap of cardboard. So I'm gonna glue uh, the hamstring uh, onto the cardboard. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, wrap uh, the string all around the cardboard. Uh, as you can see, there is a little warping taking place there. Uh, I ended up using a double-sided cardboard. So you just have to uh, take a, a thicker cardboard uh, to prevent this uh, warping. By the end, uh, what you can do is secure with a dab of glue the extreme opposite, and there you go. You have this. Now, of course, I can't remove this from the cardboard without gluing it, so on each side, I'm gonna put a line of glue. Make sure every piece of twine is uh, is glued. You don't want anything to, uh, to fall. And then what you're gonna do is use the nozzle of your glue gun to flatten the glue. Make sure it doesn't take too much space and that everything is uh, is glued together. Do exactly the same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to be separating uh, the, the twine from the cardboard. And this is going to give us two straps, so it's gonna, definitely going to be a lot faster. So there you go. And you're gonna obtain this kind of um, caterpillar looking uh, twine. So obviously what we're gonna do is separate. As you can see, there's glue on each side. So I'm gonna separate uh, between the lines of glue. Okay, so this is what you're going to obtain. So as you see, it was really fast. Uh, you can do that uh, under 10 minutes easily. 
So what we're gonna do is uh, use a sacrificial uh, comb and uh, brush the hem twine just to make sure it looks a little more like uh, like actual uh, attach. Just to make sure to separate the braids of the twine. It'll give a more natural look to uh, your thatch roof. So there you go, you can see the difference between the two of them. So here you've got all the straps I've done. So you can do more of them if you want, if you've got a larger roof, but this is gonna be uh, far enough for what I wanna do. So as you can see, the center strap is a little different. I've put the glue uh, on the mill and I gave it a little uh, bend. So we're gonna place it on top of the roof to cover uh, the other straps. So basically I'm gonna put them this way. So here what I'm doing is removing some extra cardboard uh, the roof was a bit too long, so I did remove some uh, some length of the roof. I want the thatch roof to uh, to hang over, but I didn't need uh, that much uh, that much cardboard. So now what I'm going to do is the beams. Uh, I'm going to do very simple facades for each side. Best is to use a squared section, uh, small beam, a skewer, kebab skewer, or something like that. So I'm gonna trim them and cut them at the right length and I'm gonna glue them uh, on top of the, the structure. So uh, I really recommend you using a smaller uh, glue gun. Mine was actually hidden under some pile of crap so I didn't actually find it for the craft so I used the big glue gun but I really don't recommend it. It's okay if you've got some glue uh, sticking on top of the roof because remember everything's gonna end up covered uh, by the uh, the thatch roof. So um, I'm using some very thin foam board for the stone part. So what you can do when you glue uh, the triangles of cardboard um, underneath uh, the structure is to leave a little overhang of a few uh, millimeters just to make sure that when you place the foam uh, afterwards uh, you'll have just enough space to fill in uh, the foam. And that is just to make sure that uh, the roof is going to be settled uh, very flush on top of the, the wall. Now I'm going to engrave the foam using my X-Acto knife. Then I'm going to use a ballpoint pen, an empty ballpoint pen, uh, to widen uh, the recesses between the stones, give it a little more depth. And finally for texturing, I'm going to use uh, this ball of uh, rolled aluminum foil. So as you can see here, I'm carving out some of these stones just to give more a little more depth to uh, to the wall. Of course, if you want to uh, to use an even uh, better looking technique, you could use uh, John Suski from uh, Dungeons and Glue Sticks technique, and that is to uh, to actually uh, glue on on top of the um, on top of the cardboard uh, some uh, some uh, some bricks of different uh, thicknesses. So as you can see, I'm, um, I'm doing a wash, a very dark brown wash, very diluted, to make sure everything, uh, all the paint goes in recesses. Uh, but first, uh, before doing this, you should really consider doing something else uh, that I'm gonna show you. Just remember, uh, we're gonna do a, a dark brown uh, wash. So actually, what you can do before uh, putting the wash is uh, adding some, uh, some sort of beams. I found a model of a thatch roof and uh, to see uh, under the roof and so what I'm gonna do is add some beams so I'm using um, very simple coffee stairs I'm gonna cut them and I'm gonna glue them uh, on top of the, the roof they're gonna be hidden we're gonna be only gonna see them uh, from underneath and I'm gonna make them uh, overhang a little bit so the thatch roof will actually uh, go further than the actual wall and will be standing on top of these um, on top of these beams. So you don't really have to put the beams uh, all the way through the roof because it's obviously gonna be covered uh, with thatch. So there you go. I'm just trimming a little bit uh, the beams there just to make sure all of them are uh, about the same length. And then I'm gonna do uh, the same wash with the same color than I did uh, before. So what I'm gonna do now is do the mid-tones of my, uh, my stones. I'm using a very um, 
reddish, uh, yellowish, kind of ivory. Then I'm going to use an off-white uh, dry brush to make the texture pop out. Time to glue on the straps. So we're going to glue on uh, the different straps attached on top of each other. So the extra overhang of the thatch roof wasn't really part of my initial plans. So as you can see, the straps of hamstring aren't long enough. So what you can do is add some small patches, some small pieces in case your straps aren't long enough. In any case, you can add them afterwards, as you see. Finally, what I'm gonna do is uh, glue on uh, the last strap, uh, the one that is going to be covering the top uh, of the roof. Make sure you put enough glue, because uh, the hamstring won't be uh, that flexible, so you definitely have to put uh, enough uh, glue and enough pressure to make sure everything is as flush as possible. So what you can do is trim, because uh, obviously you're going to have some hemp uh, just about everywhere. So as you can see, I'm trimming. So the roof is good as is. Uh, but I've decided to use clippers just to smooth out the different steps uh, of the thatch roof. So at last what I'm going to do is to seal off uh, this, uh, this roof just to make sure I won't get uh, pieces of twine uh, flying everywhere into my flat. So you can use a brush but you could also, um, we could imagine you could also uh, spray some, uh, some PVA glue, watered down PVA glue on top of the, um, on top of the roof. So here is the final result, very easy craft, but it looks pretty good, I think. But mostly of all, it's a very fast technique. Uh, it took about 10 minutes to get uh, two straps of thatch. I, I think I used seven of them to make the whole roof. Uh, you're mostly looking at a little over half an hour to have all the straps done. And then all you have to do is to glue them together uh, on the roof. So that is really fast, very easy technique to have a thatch roof. So I hope this crafting tutorial uh, was interesting. Just bear in mind, I just found a, a way to speed up uh, the process, but the, uh, the original technique uh, comes from Vanessa from The Crafting Muse, so uh, don't forget to, uh, to both like, share and subscribe her channel. And uh, see you later for another episode. Long Vader, signing off.